Okay, so I want to talk about tight mark, a tight mark warning that you may come across from time to time while you're working on Revit. And if you, if you haven't come across this warning, you, prob you probably will, okay? Unless you're very, 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 very careful about what you're doing. And who, <laughs> who's careful about what they're doing? Let me see your hand. Let me see your raise of hands. Who's careful about what they're doing when it comes to Revit? And they won't get any warnings. That's not going to happen. So you will come across this this particular warning because it, it, it just happens because we tend to forget. And if you got nine floors and you're working on a million dollar project and it's 47,000 square feet and you got, <laughs> I don't know, maybe 200 plumbing fixtures. Okay, let me just say it like that. Or elements. And you come across a warning, this duplicate warning, okay? So what, what is happening, because once, you, once you're on, a, on the track of doing your work and you don't see this particular warning, it could, you could go for months without seeing this particular warning that I'm going to show. Or you could go weeks, you could go a few days, or maybe an hour, and you still may not know why am I getting this warning, because it could be your first time seeing this particular warning, okay? And you're not gonna know, or you, some of us, <laughs> some of us just disregard it, because Rev is gonna continue uh, regardless of the warning. It's a warning, okay? It doesn't say, you need to fix this before we can continue, you know? so. You can, it's because it's a warning, you can continue with your work and Revit is not gonna care, okay? But it's, it's an error, you know, on the part of the drafter not to look at this warning, take care of the warning so that you don't see it again because it's gonna come up time after time after time and you're gonna come, you will ignore it because you got a deadline, <laughs> because you got a deadline on Friday it's Thursday afternoon. You got a deadline Friday at 10 that you need to get these drawings out. And you don't know what to do with this particular warning. Okay. So let me, um, before I continue talking about this. Um, so the warning is, this is going to be the warning. So you have all of these plumbing fixtures. And what you're going to do, you're going to grab onto a element. And you're going to list a particular type mark for it or a tag. Uh, something to identify the, the fixture with. You know, whether it's water closet, water heater, bathroom sink, whatever it is, you know, um, chiller or whatever it is. It, it could be any element, okay? And what you're, the mistake is is that you're going to name a particular plumbing fixture the same as another type of plumbing fixture, but you're going to call it the same name. So I'm going to use um, LV-1 for this particular um, uh, for this example, okay? Let's just say okay to this. And this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this warning that says the elements have duplicate mark type values. And you can say, okay, that's not a problem. I don't have a problem with it. Just put it right here because I got a deadline. <laughs> because I got a deadline on Friday at 10 o'clock. I gotta get these drawings out. So, so this, this um, name in this kitchen sink LV1 will give me that error. Okay, let's go back. Let's do this again. Kitchen sink, LV1. Let's go back and rename it so we can look at that particular 
Um, let's look at that error again, okay? So it's LV1, and you're on the other side of the building. You don't know what, 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 what is this? What is this warning, this tight mark warning, okay? Because LV1 for um, laboratories is on the other side of the building, and you got this kitchen sink on the opposite side of the building, and you don't know where this particular, uh, why this is giving you an error. You may know why. You may. You, this is for the people who don't, who will see this warning for the first time and will, will say, oh my God, what's going on? What is this? So what, uh, let's see. So to, to explain this warning, you, you go to expand, right? And here, the warning, you want to expand um, this warning one to find out what's going on. And what it's telling you is that type family, there's type family, plumbing fixtures, plumbing fixtures, center vent laboratory, okay? It's telling you that center vent laboratory, laboratory that this laboratory has a LV1 on it, okay? And there, the, the duplicate is this kitchen sink and this laboratory have the same type mark. They're duplications. So when you see that warning, now this, I'm gonna click on this to highlight an element in the graphics window. Select it in this tree to highlight. Now I've done that. Now I wonder if it's gonna highlight the um, kitchen sink. Let's see. I'm gonna say okay and say okay to that. Now it didn't highlight it. That was not that was not true that it said it was gonna highlight. It didn't do that. Um, I'm gonna so I'm highlighting it here. I'm gonna go back and duplicate what I just did. <laughs> Let's duplicate, duplicate, duplicate what I just did, and it's gonna give us that error again. Let's expand it and expand this warning tree. And I'm gonna choose the um, laboratory. Now it's, it's right on the right-hand side of this particular uh, bathroom plan, okay? So let's see, to highlight an element of graphics when it is in this tree. Um, I'm gonna say okay to this, but it doesn't highlight the um, laboratory, which is these, these are those are the only laboratories in this entire project for the moment. Okay, so I know that these are the only two laboratories, but it didn't highlight it. So uh, let's go back and do this and look at this again, and let's go down. And go LV, LV-1, so we know we are duplicating it, and Revit is going to tell us that this is a warning, dude. You might want to check this out. Elements have duplicate, duplicate type mark values, okay? So when you see this the first time, just expand it out and see where you've, you've, uh, you've made the mistake of duplicating a particular tag. Okay, the LV1 is the tag for that plumbing fixture. And to highlight these, I think is, I don't see a highlight. To highlight an element, it doesn't highlight it, which would, which would be, be nice if it did that. You know, maybe I'm pushing the wrong button somewhere, but based on how um, this is saying, it's telling me that to highlight, select, but whatever. So, um, I know that it's the kitchen that that my LV1 for my kitchen sink is being duplicated. It's a duplicate of the laboratory. It's already an LV1. Okay, so that's how you can you are duplicating uh, fixtures. Did I cancel? Yeah. Okay. So you you if if you bring in a particular element and call it the same same uh, tag you are gonna get that error you can continue working on Revit but it's best to fix the problem okay because somewhere in your um, 
in your schedule, you are going to have problems, okay, um, if you continue to ignore that error. So you don't want you don't want to see this error. If you do see the error, then just, just fix it, you know, because 10 o'clock Friday <laughs> will be here before you know it. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fix the type mark on it, okay? So I think I'm gonna stop here. I just wanna put that out there to you guys so that you know when you see that warning what to do and what it's all about, okay? All right, guys, I will talk to you later.